Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is cabin number four. This is a difficulty tier one POI and can be obtained from the trader as a clear or fetch quest. Well, this is a beyond a classic POI. This POI, I think I may have visited more than any other in the game. I really do think that actually. A locked doors at the back, and there's a nice wood pile around here. A few oh, birds' nests and whatnot. It does have a couple of trees on the PI. We've got a big one out the back, and a little scrawny tall one at the front here. It's a very simple PI. Um, a few bits and bobs to grab, you know, grab that wooden chair. But as we go in, there we go. There's our first enemy. So we could just go and bow this fella in the head. But uh, for a tier one, there's quite a few cheeky little people in here. Hello, hello. Hello, you've got to wake up at some point, right? Now come and eat me, eat me. Boing! Hit you in the head. But no, I do love this PY. The amount of times I've crept in here, because I think there's something nasty in that room. But I often do head towards this one when I see it, because I know it so well, and it's got these leather, leather chairs. It's a good place uh, to get that. A bit of food here, hiding in there. Uh, we've got a little coal oven. No, what do they call them? Wood... wood wood burner my brain's not working very well a wood burner there um, which is nice and uh, unusually i'll go into god mode to show you this but unusually there's no secret in here no secret at all but normally they don't bother actually making a full chimney stack uh, but they have in this case which is uh, i suppose rather nice it won't make too much of a difference but there's a kitchen in here we'll go into this little room first um yes they are they're just hiding around the corner hello boinkity boink and in this room what do we have well Nothing really, but this could end up being good for you. This could be a bookcase. And in here we have some old trash. I think there's someone outside awaiting um, a hello from me. But let's go in the kitchen. Wake this fella up. See if we can rip that head off this time. Loving it. And in here, I don't know if you can see it, if the graphics are good enough. But I can see through the slats in the door, this little cheeky fella here. Who hasn't woken up? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, give up take him out who's out the front is there someone trying to ruin my video there is let's go and say hello to them hello yes what are you trying to do ruin my video I'm take your legs out geezer right so let's get back to it grab your leather mm, love it and in here oh dog's bottom what have we got down here nothing much at all no toilet gun for us today but some lock picks and there we go the normal kitchen Grab these bits and bobs, trash can, lovely jubbly, anything nice? Yes, some acid, gorgeous. And rubbish and cupboards and cupboards and rubbish and all the usual things. We have an old stove and we have a refrigerator. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now we have the upstairs area where we can plump ourselves up here. Oh, did you see those spawn? Sometimes they spawn this side. Sometimes this side, it doesn't really matter, but we will take off some heads and before we grab the rest, I'm going to jump up on here, get to the highest point of the ceiling, lob myself across and get this little bit of hidden trash over there. And that is it. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six zombies, including a dog, which is pretty beefy for a tier one of this size. An ammo pile there. Oh, what's hiding behind here for us today? Sneaky cheeky loot, mm, bit of glue, nice, nice. And unusually, this is a bit odd, isn't it? Because normally these are always placed in the corners of room. But there we go, a uh, an underfloor bit of trash, a wood crate, mm, nice, oh, magnum, magnum, magnum. Yes, magnum volume six, good. And sometimes this is available as well. And that's it, that is it. But it is, I don't know, it feels like home to me. It can be easily made into a, a beautiful home very, very quickly. And uh, look at this, it's only 100, so it's going to be possibly the easiest cheese and the quickest cheese in the entire game ever. But I am dutiful and I will nip in in day one mode and we will see if we can grab that loot. Well, here we are. We've got a whopper of a tree outside this time. Could this be the quickest cheese in the game? I do not know. Let's grab some blocks. Let's simply jump up a few times. Um, let's well, maybe take one out there. Knock this uh, little darling out and grab the wooden crate. Thank you very much. All oh, the Nightsteins. 
All the nightstands available this time, so we'll, we'll grab that. Take our blocks back, nip around the front, and we are done. Bing! Right, how cool is that one? Let's give this a cheese. And we've got some broken glass. Great. Tough guy sunglasses, wood splitter mod, some shammer, padded hood, and four iron crossbow bolts. Not much at all, but absolutely worth it. That is a good old level four. There is nothing much else to say besides what a beautiful and classic POI. Just like all these POIs, these points of interest in the physics playground. Well, goddamn, isn't it big? Hit like, comment, and subscribe, because we go through these every single week. Three of them, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Videos on many other days, too. So if you love Seven Days to Die, then make sure you join me, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!